We've waited almost three years for this game, and after several agonizing months on the hype train, was the ride worth it? Let's find out in Tekken 7. Now, one of the first things you'll notice is that this game looks really good, like probably the best looking fighting game out there at the moment. Instead of reusing assets like some of the previous games used to do, most of this was built completely from the ground up in a brand new engine, Unreal Engine 4. But if you're a Tekken fan, you'll notice that despite this being made in a completely new engine, it still feels like the Tekken we know and love. The gameplay is fast, fluid, and they managed to include some new gameplay mechanics that not only brings in newcomers, but doesn't take away anything from the competitive side. In fact, it adds even more. This is a nearly impossible feat that only Bandai Namco could accomplish, so if you want to get into fighting games, Tekken 7 is the perfect gateway. In fact, the story mode of this game even has some very subtle tutorials teaching you what all the buttons are, how to sidestep, and how to block. And as for the story itself, if you're afraid of having to catch up on the lore first before playing it, otherwise you'll be confused, don't worry. It goes over the entire mythos of the Tekken series, and there's even a gallery mode that lets you view previous movies from the Tekken games, all with their own little recaps of each game. And the cinematic story mode isn't the only new thing in the series either. There's also character episodes and a new mode called Treasure Battle, which allows you to unlock items for customization, which is now deeper than before. Now, unfortunately, it should be noted that when it comes to game modes, there's still a few things missing like the series staples of team battle and survival mode. But like the online issues of last week, I won't be taking any points off for this as it's an issue that can easily be fixed later on with DLC. In fact, they've already confirmed new game modes are coming. And besides, the game modes we already have are still incredibly fun, like the customization I mentioned earlier, which now allows you to customize more than just characters, health bars too. Now, if there is a big unfixable negative I have to give, it would have to be the character episodes. There aren't any arcade mode endings for this one, and instead the endings are placed in these character episodes, which don't even include every character, just the ones that don't play a major role in the story. Now, this wouldn't be such a big deal if it weren't for the content of the character endings themselves. And no, 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 it's not because the endings are done in-engine instead of as CGI cinematics, because Tekken 4's endings were also in-engine and they were fine. I'm talking about what happens in each ending. While in Tekken 4, the endings were very interesting and resolved major problems that the characters are having, this just feels like nothing. Lots of them are unsatisfying 30 second clips, while others are uninteresting cliffhangers meant to set up the plot of Tekken 8. Xiaoyu's and Claudio's endings are especially guilty of this. I mean, I get this particular installment in the series is supposed to really, really focus on the Mishima family, but that doesn't mean they can't show any of the side characters lots of love. But again, these are just character episode endings. One tiny thing in what is otherwise a nearly flawless game. Fluid gameplay, an interesting story, lots of fun modes, customization that's deeper than ever before, smooth online now that it's actually working. Tekken 7 is a fantastic game that every fighting game fan must buy, and newcomers will love it too. Tekken 7 gets a 9.5 out of 10.